so I was was asked to make a video of how my uh, tic-tac-toe game works and looks in game so I'm gonna show a little clip of how it looks in game uh, um, yeah you have to jump on the black dots and here I'm losing and it blinks one time to show that I lost and then I, I'm resetting it again and uh, now I'm just gonna block uh, the yeah so 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 I won't win So it looks in game. I'm just gonna reset it back to the start. So uh, now I'm gonna show how it actually works. Uh, so what do we got? Uh, we got these blocks the X and the O's which are uh, wall toggle blocks uh, and we got this uh, trigger multiply blocks which are the blocks that you actually jump on so you trigger all the things and I made, made these ones smaller so you can not hit two blocks at the same time uh, and we got multi manager and trigger change target and that's the blocks I <coughs> that I used uh, in this like game so what is actually happening when when you jump on this block that I did in the video uh, it's targeting a block named multi tick a1 which is this block and what is this block doing yeah it's trigger a lot of other things it will trigger uh, x a1 which was the x that appeared here and o b2 which was the o was the there was did appear in the middle uh, i named the blocks like a b c and one two three so it's pretty simple so what's mary's going what what more is going on? Uh, we got to change pick A1 also trigger and that is this block it will change the target of of the A1 block here and uh, so it will target the ev empty block which is this one up here so you cannot hit this twice in a row because then it will just yeah happening strange stuff it will this will those will disappear again and yeah so once you hit this you cannot hit it again before you reset it and the same with uh, the block in the middle it, it will al also change target to the empty block uh, and what more is happening? Yeah, it will trigger multi tick change A1, which is uh, this block. And this will. <coughs> this block will trigger 7 8 blocks, which are all in here now. So it 
didn't take up so much space when I was doing this. Uh, <coughs> yeah, and what are these blocks doing? Yeah, they will change the target of all the five, re five remaining blocks. That isn't this and this. Uh, it's this, 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 and yeah. So after he's hit this, this will change target. So they will respond correctly uh, after hitting this block. So, uh, yeah, what more do I have here? Yeah, it's the, the reset things. I will talk about that later. <coughs> So the uh, next thing I do is hitting this block. So after I hit this block, uh, this thing uh, made it ma made all the other blocks change target. So this block is now targeting this instead of this. So now we're targeting this block. So let's see what's inside this. Uh, yeah, it makes the X appear here and the O in the A3 which is here, the O here, will appear and it also cha changes this block's target to the empty block and change the remaining 5 blocks <coughs> target to yeah, other blocks. And also the resetting things, so you can reset the blocks that appeared. Uh, and, the <coughs> and the next thing I do is hitting this block. And yeah, because I did hit uh, this block, uh, uh, this block. Uh, it made this block targeting is uh, this block now targeting this block that is here. And what's inside this block? Yeah, it's XB1. Yeah, the X appear here after I jump here, and the O will appear in C1 after one second. Yeah, here. And all the uh, other things that will make it blink one time after. Yeah, so it blinks one time to show that that it wins, and thick empty all makes all the blocks targeting the empty. So you after you after the computer won, uh, you cannot jump on any more blocks. You need to reset it to do that, and yeah, the reset things of the blocks that appeared. So you can reset the blocks. So now I'm gonna show how the reset thing work. And it's the thing I built over here. Uh, yeah, okay. I'm gonna show a video first. Yeah, they're set. Uh, they're setting blocks. So, how does uh, their setting thing work? First of all, it's when you jump down, uh, you will trigger all this uh, trigger mul. Uh, yeah, trigger trigger multiply. Yeah. 
this one uh, there is at the bottom now is the one that will uh, reset all the targets of of the blocks to to the uh, to the multi managers they were targeting from the beginning so this one is targeting this and will uh, trigger all this uh, trigger change target and reset the blocks to yeah the multi managers that you were targeting from the beginning uh, and what more yeah the blocks that have appeared which were like these blocks that appeared and they will disappear again so uh, let's see this block I just put them like here so you can see all the the setting blocks uh, this one is for the first block over here uh, actually it's just for the X over here so the <coughs> so this is now targeting nothing so when you jump it will will not have uh, nothing will happen when you jump here uh, from the beginning but when you jump on this block this block will change target to this block so this block is now targeting this block and you jump here it will trigger XA1 again which will make it disappear and uh, yeah change reset XA11 which is uh, this one and it will change the target back to empty uh, of this block so after you reset the block uh, this will uh, yeah, go back to empty so and yeah that's how it works uh, I hope you could understand <laughs> maybe something of what I said Yeah, and I also had this teleport thing in the video. I don't have it in here now just to show how it looks a bit without it. It's the thing that made me go back here, but you probably know how that works. Yeah. So you can actually jump on jump however you want, but yeah it it it's not <laughs> Uh, thinking program also it will just respond the same every time uh, uh, and yeah you can reset it how many times you want and like do it again and so yeah I think that's was all uh, yeah